Hello there my friends, I'm currently on a duck because I'm in a big hurry because I have a bus in seven minutes to Paris because I'm gonna be running my very first half marathon. As per usual, I always make my bag a bit too late so I'm really short on time right now but I think I should still be able to get it easily. It's only like five minutes on a scooter to the north station and then it's about a four hour bus drive to Paris. I gotta get a move on now but I'll keep you guys posted on the process. Let's hope we don't miss the bus. One minute left, the bus is right there. There it is. Paris, Paris, à quelle heure? Uh, Ah, par là? Merci. Uh oh. Okay, so after almost missing my bus because I was standing at a different Flix bus stop, I can finally tell you guys what my plan is in Paris. I will be going to Paris to run my very first half marathon. The half marathon is 21 and a half kilometers. It's the first time that I'm doing this long distance. Longest I did before was 20, so normally there shouldn't be any issue. However, the only thing is that I've been struggling a lot with shin splints the past week, actually. So the past five days, I've just been resting really hard to make sure that I could get an optimal experience at the half marathon. I will be running it together with a friend. She's already there. There's some other friends of his there as well that I'm going to be meeting once I get there. And uh, tomorrow, we're gonna be running i should be arriving in paris in about four hours it's about 12 now so i should be there at about 4 p.m and then uh, tomorrow we are good to go for the run let's do this <laughs> Okay, friends, we have made a quick stop here after two hours of driving for some food and some drinks, which is great because I still have to consume a lot. I haven't even had breakfast yet. So uh, seeing as I'm running a half marathon tomorrow, I need to get some carbs in. The breakfast of champions. This is the cheat code. Carbs. Okay, it's time for the moment sucre. Taste test of the eclair. And chocolate inside. Ugh. Hello my friends, after five hours on the bus, I finally made it to Paris and the weather is absolutely beautiful as you can see. Luckily we're from Belgium and we are used to this kind of weather. I'm totally decked out. I even found a way to use uh, the rain cover for my bag as a skateboard holder. So now I can also put my skateboard on my trekking bag, which is really nice because otherwise I didn't really have a spot for it. Yeah, and I'm just gonna take the metro to the apartment where I'll be staying, which is where my friends are at right now. And we have to go and pick up our race number. I still have to pass a pair of shorts as well. And then we can chill, get some carbs in, drink a shitload of water, and then we should be great for tomorrow. <laughs> oh, nice, super nice. My socks are wet now. Good, sir. Yeah, I'm feeling at home here, man. What a warm welcome. Fuck's sake, guys. Uh, I have to go collect the bib for me and my friend for the running club. Oh, my. Fucking camp boys. Uh, I have to go and collect the bibs for the running tomorrow, but the collection closes at seven, and I think that's in about seven minutes. I'm going as fast as I can with the fucking lime, and I'm. I mean, I went through an entire forest. It's also the only pair of pants I have with me, but I guess it's okay because Paris Fashion Week is just you know the new style, you know, muddy guy. But yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go because I have to now find out where the fuck it actually is because the address to collect the bibs is actually just a park. The park's fucking huge. <sighs> I hope I can attend the race tomorrow. Yes, I found it. There's a lot of people here. Well, actually, I still wasn't there yet. I still had to run for about two kilometers here. I guess it's a good warm up for tomorrow. Yes. Fuck yes. Oh, that was scary. Seeing as I was already quite late, I didn't want to bother the people handing out the bibs. So I wasn't able to film any clips here, but we got the bibs successfully. It's time to get back to the hotel. <laughs> Fucking puddles everywhere. Oh, oh, what an adventure here in Paris, man. So excited for tomorrow. All right. We're at a restaurant right now on the toilet. My shoes are fucking drenched because of my little adventure before. I think maybe if I put them in here. <laughs> Hello. Should be a bit better, no? Okay, we're back at the room. I will quickly give you a little tour as we usually do whenever we're on a trip. Okay, so this is the room. You, the mama. There's a lot of mirrors here. A shower, very nice shower actually. Some art, more mirrors. Time to dry my shoes. Okay, so you have a hair dryer. Did you guys know that the hair dryer is one of the things that determine how many stars your hotel has? <laughs> so if you have three star hotel, uh, it doesn't even really mean it's a crazy hotel. Okay, here we have my good friend, Jean-Louis David. Jean-Louis! Jean-Louis, no! My shoes are pretty much dry now. We're good to go for tomorrow. 
Good morning. We are good to go for the run. All decked out in, you know, the real cool running swag. Got some bananas, got some water, got some cool gels. Gotta drop our luggage first. They're on our way to the race. Last thing I have to sort out before we go is my number. Okay, so I've attached my number. Now we're just trying to make our way outside of the metro station on our way to the start. Okay, friends, we are on the running. I think we've done about one and a half kilometers now. My chin is feeling pretty good. Started off really painfully, but it's evolving into some warmth now and a little fuzzy feeling. So I think uh, the adrenaline is gonna kick in soon and then the pain should go away. Hey! Three kilometers down, one seven of the way. Four kilometers. Going pretty smooth. Five down, six kilometers. It's actually going super smooth. We're at six already. Pretty sad that I can't go for time, but still happy I'm able to run. Let's see, let's get some water. Yes! He's got the message. Pain in my shin is temporary, but the victory is forever. We'll get a bit. Sarah! The big eight. Getting closer to 50% of the way. Come on, come on, come on! Nine kilometers. I think we all know what time it is. Quick piss break in the woods. Oops. Okay, we're at about 10 kilometers now. Almost halfway. Seems like the perfect timing for a little gel. You can hear it when you shorts. You went to those. Sure, the length is like that over. Yeah. And I go in the mouth. Yeah. Is that it? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Make good work. Good sir. My young. And not my favorite kind of snack. 11 kilometers. We officially passed the halfway mark. Okay, we passed the 19 kilometer mark, which means it's less than two kilometers. Now we're good. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Let's go. 20 kilometers down, one to go. We all gonna make it. 500. 500 left. Dude. Oh, dude, my entire face is like tingling and fuzzing with the adrenaline. This feeling is fucking amazing. It feels so nice to be surrounded with all these people. Everybody full energy. Insane atmosphere here, guys. Damn, I gotta do this more often. 300. 300. Almost there. Last sprint. Make it happen. Next. Final 
Okay, friends, we officially made it. Our first half marathon here in Paris. We've got the Medal of Honor. My shin is hurting pretty bad now, but that was to be expected. I'm still really happy with how I did. We ran a total of two hours and five minutes. Hana killed it as well. Now it's time to chill out, get some stretching in, and uh, get some food in us. Damn, the banana tower. <laughs> Jesus. What an atmosphere. Everybody hyping each other up. Love to see it. No. We just lost our friends to the metro doors. No. Uh, why do we do that up? Uh, okay, uh, it's just me and Natana. <laughs> We're lost. <laughs> we lost the ladies. Lost in Paris. Hey, Michel! Hey, look at you. But I can't do it. Hey, but you have us next to the Yeah, we found the place. Yama, yama, yama. Here is it. Yo friends, after every hard sports effort you need to make sure you get the recuperation down. We got some cocktails, it's a lot of hydration in these drinks. Uh, yeah, we in Paris, just enjoying the vibes. Cocktails are really cheap. Okay, Bestella. Moscow Mule. Sushi. I said it's good. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> My friends, we just had a few cocktails here in Paris. We're about to take the metro, which has just arrived. We're just okay. gonna take the metro back to the hotel, grab our stuff, and then we're heading back to Belgium. It was really nice, but on all the nice faces comes an end. Okay, we're at Place de Repu, very known skate spot here in Paris. I don't have my board with me though, but I got my running shoes on as well, so I'm gonna look for a board and then... Yeah. Sammy, you can't do anything well. Sammy, sick. Oh. <laughs> we out, motherfucker. <laughs> this was it for Paris. This was it for the half marathon. I had a really good time. I'm very happy about the experience. Super down to do more long distance running. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I very much enjoyed making this video. Thank you very much for watching. Sashi. Goed nieuws, dat is geen scheenbeenvliesontsteking. Dan zou de last zijn langs de binnenkant van je scheenbeen. En bij jou is dat dus spontaan niet gevoelig, zelfs niet na het lopen van een halve marathon. Dus dat is keigoed nieuws. De last is wel meer langs de buitenkant. En dat is dus een tibialis anterior. De spieren dat de voet naar jou toe trekt. Ja, dat voel ik. Maar dat is goed nieuws, geen scheenbeenvliesontsteking. En dit gaat veel makkelijker genezen. Dus keigoed nieuws. Merci Janik voor de diagnose. Lekker.